Hey everybody, how's it going? I am here with another razor and brush to review and soap and um, I am thrilled beyond belief because I hold in my hot little hands a couple saucy dishes and one of them is this beautiful little razor here, um, a gold toggle. This is from my boys, Caleb Allen and his son Reed. They have graciously loaned me this absolutely beautiful F4 toggle and uh, you can see it right there. It is beautiful. Plating is great. Um, just absolutely beautiful razor. Um, I wanted to hold one of these and shave with one for a while and since I uh, got the bottom dial I've been itching to try this. So I am ecstatic that I get a chance to shave with this bad boy here today. Um, so I'm going to be shaving with that. So thank you gentlemen for, uh, for the, the toggle to shave with. And then um, I am also going to be shaving uh, with a brush here which I uh, got as a loaner from my boy BJ Sharp and it is a Morris and Forndren uh, 2XL finest badger in leopard print handle. Let me shake some water out there and there it is and the lighting just doesn't do this thing justice but it's oh my goodness it is it is beautiful um, it's just pure pure class um, so I'm gonna be shaving with those things and I have some super special Coates almond shaving cream from my uh, my boy Rick Boone and uh, he doesn't give this out to just anybody so I guess he has a thing for me I don't know but uh, thank you to all of you gentlemen out there uh, for these wonderful, wonderful shaving accoutrements. Um, so what I'm going to do, I already did the hot uh, towel prep on my face and uh, I'm going to get everything ready here. Got my shaving bowl ready and what else, what else would you use to shave um, in, your, uh, in your toggle than the original, the Gillette Blue Blade. So I'm going to be Cracking a brand new, look at that, look at that sacrilege, oh my goodness, look at the, oh, the wrapper, gone, oh my goodness, oh, oh, the wax paper, gone, gone, oh boy, tore up history, I'm sure that some people are probably cringing that I did that, but anyhow, I'm uh, going to go right in here, this razor is pretty cool, all you do is just flip it, you can use one hand, you can use two, whatever, um, just like that, it toggles, you don't have to twist it or turn it or anything like that, you just flip that switch, and uh, I'm actually going to be having a little tech review video of this, and um, it's very, very similar to the bottom dial in the head and also some of the mechanics inside, some of the mechanics, like the spring and everything. Um, but I'll be detailing that in a different video than this one here. Um, so, loaded up, ready to go. I got my brush, shook it out, soaked it in lukewarm water for a long time, and I'm uh, going to apply Look at that. Look at that sexy brush. Look at that. My goodness. So, applying some cream. Got my bowl, my Hoffritz pewter bowl. The last brush that I used from BJ was his Simpson chubby brush. Oh, in case you want some eye candy. Right there it is. My goodness, that thing was just a piece of work. What a... Oh, what a brush. So I'm going to check this out here, see how this lather whips up. Already getting a little bit of a lather. I'm going to add a little bit of water because I shook almost all of it out. Loading it up. Man, this stuff smells good. It smells like you would imagine almond lotion to smell. Um, this is for dry skin. I, I'll be honest, I don't know if they have others, but uh, that's for dry skin. And uh, wow. That brush. Wow. Look 
look at that. You see how thick that is? Man. That is terrific. It's a great brush, great lathering, great feel. has a lot of backbone. It's really thick, but it's soft. It's really soft. It feels like, um, imagine taking your, your fist and wrapping it in one of those, like, cotton rounds or something like that, and that's what this brush feels like on your skin. It, it's like a massage. It feels great. All right, got the toggle set on number nine. This is my first pass with the grain. So... Here we go. First pass with the toggle. Oh, wow. Heavy. Heavy razor. Aggressive. On number nine. What I, uh, what I, what I personally feel is, as someone who shaved with a fat boy, and a slim, and a bottom dial, and now this toggle, um, feels like the, uh, the bottom dial slash toggle head just more aggressive. Than your standard adjustable razor. Um, I, you know, I don't view, I don't view the Fat Boy or the Slim, set on number nine. I don't view them as aggressive razors at all. I mean, maybe some people think they are, but not this guy. But uh, I don't know if it's the added weight or what um, of these. Because the mechanics inside a bottom dial, and certainly inside of a toggle, are very different than the mechanics inside of a standard fat boy or a slim. Okay, that coats shaving cream. Smooth, smooth stuff. Good cushion, good glide. making easy work of my stubble. By the way, in my last video, which was the Barbaros TR1 prototype, I had a couple pretty bad leapers with that. Some people were asking me why. Um, I have really sensitive skin, and if I go against the grain too often, it, uh, it really irritates my neck more so than anything else. But especially my neck gets irritated. and. Um, and I had just been doing so many razor reviews and things that uh, going against the grain just a little bit too often. So I've given myself quite a few days to heal here, uh, about four days. And I added some water to this, and man, it's, it's lathering up again in this bowl here. And I didn't add any more product, just, uh, just using what was in the brush and what was left over in the bowl. Um, thick and creamy, if you can see that. Thick and creamy. Nice, nice lather. Um, but no weepers today. Going with the grain. So now, second pass. It's going to be against the grain. That's how I always go. I go with the grain, against the grain, and then across the grain. And I'm going to dial this way down to setting number one. Now, toggles have a quarter click, or a half click, I guess you might call it, just like that. Like that, that's all the way open, okay? That's not how you want to do it. But if you leave it at this quarter click here, this half click, it actually releases the pressure on the doors so that you can rinse it off better. And uh, it'll actually clean off all of your soap scum in there, which None of the other um, adjustables do that. I mean, you can do the quarter turn, I guess, with the handle, but, uh, but uh, this one was specifically designed with that in mind. Oh, wow. Well. Smooth. Smooth as butter.
this lower part of my neck right there. That's always the sensitive part. I, I could use setting number nine against the grain on my face and nothing would happen. But man, my neck is just a sensitive guy. Man, hear that chatter? <laughs> Nothing like the sound and the feel. Of a nice, stiff carbon blade on the skin. At least, that's what I think. If you're entitled to your own opinion, you may hate them. I know several people do. Beautiful. Beautiful weeper free against the grain pass. I'm going to click it like so, and in between passes I'm just rinsing it out to make sure that I get all that soap and all the whisker particles out of there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dial it to number 5, which is midway, <clears throat> and that way I get sort of the, the grand experience of most of the settings. Lather. Man, that is a soft brush. A lot of backbone, but soft. Tremendous. Tremendous. Look at that blob of lather. Mm. Now we're going to go across the grain. Beautiful. Done. Smooth. Absolutely smooth. Flawless shave. Zero weepers. Zero irritation. Not BBS, but DFS for sure. Um, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, folks, a lot of people poo-poo the toggle and say it's not good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, thanks again to Caleb and Reed for allowing me the gracious pleasure of using this. This brush, stellar, stellar brush. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what, it is as functional as it is beautiful. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a metallic print in it. Um, it's just spectacular. Um, it's a work of art, but it's a functional work of art. And uh, super soft, but super stiff. I love it. Absolutely love it. And the shaving cream. Awesome. Dude, awesome. This, this has been a very, very, very good shave. And what I am going to do now for a post-shave or an after-shave, I think tonight deserves busting out the Clubman Special Reserve. If you haven't ever tried this, I highly recommend it. It is good stuff, not for the faint of heart, but, oh wow. That'll, <clears throat> that'll clean out your pores and your sinuses. So. To everyone who made this incredible shave possible, 
thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. And if there is a razor that you would like to see featured, or a brush that you'd like to see featured, message me and we'll work something out. In the meantime, please make sure that you like the video and click the link to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And until we meet again, shave on.